Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night at City Field, the Mets won the opener of their series from the Milwaukee Brewers 3-2. Steven Matz gave up a two-run homer to Chris Carter in the first inning and then allowed virtually nothing the rest of the way. Pretty impressive. 18 out of 19, I think he retired after that. Uh, just on top of his game, if you look at his line, uh, no walks, eight strikeouts, got to those 20 on outs we were, we were talking about. Well, we needed it bad. We were really short in the pen. You know, we we had, uh, you know, Henderson and Robles and Familia and Reed, and that was it. So we needed somebody to give us six innings, and, you know, he gave us, you know, he gave us more than that. It was a tremendous outing. You know, the bullpen's been working really hard, and uh, um, that was my goal, was to go as deep into this game as I possibly could. So I'm pretty happy that I was able to do that for them. He's always solid. You know, he's, he's got great command of his pitches. Uh, you know, he works very quick, and he's got great pace, and, you know, we know we're, we're going to get a good start on Matsy when, he, when he's out there. You know, he threw a pitch for a ball and come right back with it. You know, be it, you know, if he threw a curveball or change up or something, it was a ball. He wasn't afraid to double up, and that's, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive when you got a young guy like that. I'm going to be honest, that's all on Renee because uh, I didn't shake him off one time tonight, and uh, we were just, we were in a great rhythm, so Renee called a great game. You know, we talk about what we want to do. Um, before the games, and uh, we executed, and he followed me, and, and we, you know, we get, get in the same page, and you know, he, he threw the ball well. And it was, uh, it was good. And uh, on the offensive side, uh, the Mets scratched for a run early, but then got a big two-run home run from Conforto, and that was the big hit in the game. It really, I mean, it felt felt like a two-one loss at some point until he turned it around. You know, I, I had a little doubt. I didn't know if I got it well enough, but, um, you know, a little warmer tonight and, and it flew a little bit better. Um, you know, just put a good swing on it. And, you know, when you do that, a lot of good things happen. Conforto's seventh home run of the year is first to the opposite field. And the men's bullpen, which has been such an important part of this team, Addison Reed and Jerry's Familia combined for six up, six down. It's not only that they're uh, pitching so well, but it's so clean. You know, Reed comes in one, two, three. Same with Familia as he gets his 14th save and 14 chances. At this point right now, 100%. I feel like all my piece working. I got my comfort back, and I doing what I'm supposed to do. I throw a strike. I mean, it's very important for us. Uh, go back what we always doing, like win series, and start this series winning like that. I think for everybody in this room, give more adrenaline to come back tomorrow and, and play 100% and try to, to win that game again. Milwaukee lineup without Ryan Braun. The Met pitching staff faced just two over the minimum in a 3-2 to two win. Game two of the series on Saturday afternoon. A 4 o'clock start on picks 11. It'll be Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Zach Davies goes from Milwaukee. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.